India has a century old medical and health sciences legacy. The old Indian medical system was holistic. With the arrival of European Christian missionaries in South India in the 17th century, India's modern medical system evolved gradually. Indian healthcare has advanced dramatically in the recent decades. India's health promotion has advanced far since independence. Indian hospitals, dispensaries, public health clinics and other medical facilities are adequate. Our father Matthias will found the congregation of Jesus Mary Joseph on 29th July 822 in Armsfoot with a specific purpose of imparting the education for Catholic girls in Kulamburg with the name Pedagogy Christian. In the year 1904, seven Dutch sisters arrived to India by ship to Vetapalam, Prakasham district, Andhra Pradesh. Our founder's spirit and charism is ever adaptable apostolic availability. Accordingly, our congregation adapted various ministries in different parts of the world, looking into the signs of the times. The society in Bangalore province inclines to education, health care and social and pastoral mission in tune with the changing times. St. Philomena's Hospital, Bangalore is the crown of all JMJ healthcare all over the world. The situation of the people of that time moved the heart of the missionaries. A small dispensary was set up to cater to the health needs of the locality. Dr. Sister Veronica Pitt chose Bangalore City for her mission in 1937 because the city lacked basic needs. Thus, it was her choice to offer affordable medical treatment amongst the lower strata of the city. Gradually, a small charitable institution of two beds of long ago is a well-established 371 bedded multi-speciality hospital today, a life-saving healthcare facility. In the year 1951, she started training courses to the deserving girls in the area and in the year 1983 marked the beginning of organized nursing school. The hospital is proud to be accredited by NABH by for providing quality health care. So St. Philomena's Hospital when I joined in 1991 was one of the premier hospitals in Bangalore and continues to be a premier hospital even now after three decades. Now what is the difference? Three decades ago, uh, St. Philomena's Hospital was known for its nursing care, cleanliness and uh, most of the elite patients of the Bangalore, uh, especially the cantonment area like Brigade Road, Commercial Street, were patients of Dr. C.D. Jacob and uh, Dr. Joseph Anthony, H.K. Srinivas Murthy, and they were all the top consultants at that time. It has been a very pleasant journey for the past 30 years. At that time, we did not have any corporates to compete with us. We were the sort of ultimate. But within a few years, in 90s itself, some of the big corporates entered Bangalore. And uh, right now, Philomena's is surrounded by all these corporates. But still, Philomena's continues to what it was three, four, three decades ago. We have evolved in a way that whatever these corporates offer, St. Philomena's offers, whatever they do, we are able to do here and at a very 
uh, pocket friendly cost to the patients that is the best thing i mentioned about nursing care even now today i don't think any can a corporate can match our nursing care our cleanliness even government of india has recognized this so philomena has progressed and uh, with this mentality and hard working attitude of our sisters i am very sure that it will progress and continue to be one of the top hospitals in bangalore one of the top teaching institutes in india i have been associated with st philomena's hospital since my post graduation days since 2009 and uh, since 2013 and uh, was a junior consultant presently as a senior consultant physician at st philomena's uh, here at st philomena's hospital we cater to all walks of life and all socio economic status mainly our mission is to uh, serve the poor and the needy the maternity service rendered in the hospital has always been a loud talk among the native not to forget the service that is well spoken about today started with just two beds i am dr dilip of st philomena's hospital i am employed here as a junior intensivist and it's been a year and a half of my experience in philomena's uh, icu the in intensive care unit of every hospital is the heart and soul of every hospital which is possible and we basically are the midline between life and death patients who come here come with a dream to have a re opportunity to live and we provide them that as far as our motor goes for jmj we have love care and share we give the all utmost love and caring support for the patient which is required we share our happiness with them and we try our best to get them another chance to live another day of course battles are meant to be won and lost some battles are fought with utmost care love and affection we try our best and give our best during the covid the last year our hospital was not just our hospital the entire world was not of crisis but we definitely being the frontline workers sought a way to find our way and to help people we were started wearing ppes which were initially tough got used to it working almost 16 to 18 hours a day with n95 masks and without much you know uh more love and care which is needed for the patients because they have been isolated giving them the care they needed and definitely some battles are lost but then we tried our best a special appreciation should be given to the community of jmj and our jmj sisters for doing their best and supporting the people of need especially during the time of covid and the support they given for respect of all uh, caste of people which is available in the class of people who need help and as well as everyone who is in help and people have done their best to help the patients who are in need doing their best and making sure they get the best care and support overall the management has done their best and definitely a salute from our side to them the hospital infrastructure including furnishings and equipment seemed inadequate to accommodate the growing population and complex health care needs to cater better with the same old heart of service a new opd in the same premises was instituted i am dr chetan ebnis abraham senior consultant physician and professor department of internal medicine for eight decades and running saint philomena's hospital with its motto of love care and share has been at the forefront of giving the best medical and health Uh, care in the city of bengaluru with changing times it is reinventing and dynamically making changes to be at the forefront of giving the best of medical care in this city my family and me are blessed to be a part of this great family of saint philomena's hospital this great and esteemed institution has taught me not only to be humble but to know that we have to serve rather than to be served i wish and i pray that this hospital grows to great heights to be in the forefront and to be the best in every part whether it is holistic or any other thing and all our concerted efforts and prayers and help 
is always there with this great family of ours. I wish St. Philomena's Hospital, its management, staff, doctors, nurses, everyone the very best in the future. The hospital handled the most unexpected pandemic in a serene manner. The hard work and support of the frontliners is worth appreciation. During the phase of adversity, the hospital was known for its exemplary service to humanity. Hi all, I am Bernard Suvedan, one of the COVID warriors worked in this ward, that is uh, St. Philomena's Hospital. Uh, in this ward is Seaving. The Seavings, they have completely converted into a COVID ward uh, and they have allotted for uh, the government uh, quota patients. Uh, here we have uh, three different uh, categories of this bed. One is general bed and uh, oxygen bed and patient with high dependency unit beds we have. Uh, during this COVID pandemic, uh, hospital management have helped us a lot to overcome this COVID pandemic situation. Uh, like uh, whenever there is a need and whenever we need manpower and uh, whenever we need resources, hosp hospital management they have took uh, nice care and they have uh, supported us a lot. Uh, especially when there is a disparate need of oxygen, uh, uh, the management took more and more initiative. Night and days they have uh, arranged sufficient amount of oxygen for the patients, those who are in need. Uh, and at last I should thank uh, the staffs, those who have uh, involved in this uh, COVID pandemic session, actively participated. And apart from this, my sincere thanks, I should uh, say to the people, uh, those who have entered in this COVID ward as a volunteer. St. Philomena's College of Nursing and School of Nursing exemplifies love, care for the students, nurtured to serve the needy, while sharing a commitment to justice and truth. Thousands of candidates have walked the corridors of the prestigious institution and many more are expected to hold the banner high. St. Philomena's College of Nursing started in the year 1983 with the motto of Love, Care, Share. We have three programs that is uh, Diploma in Nursing, B.S. in Nursing and Master's in Nursing. From 1983 to till date, uh, we have around 2,500 students of undergraduates and 150 of postgraduate students completed the course successfully and they are working in different countries. Definitely, St. Philomena's is the best and the preferred nursing college in India because of good discipline, personal care, commitment of teachers and good clinical training at St. Philomena's Hospital the parent institution. The JNJ Hospital was started in 1966 as a rural health centre in Irirandipalia. There was a person by name Mr. Thomas Appa who was very generous in giving his own house for us to start a small clinic because people were very poor, illiterate and not having many facilities. So we have started as a clinic, but later our sisters started doing survey and found there are 400 families who are very poor, illiterate, not having many medical facilities. So in 1976, we have shifted our small clinic to Nagavara as a St. Philomena's Health Centre which is also is a rural health center for St. Philomena's Hospital with a 15 beds. Mainly we have rendered our services for uh, patients, those who are pregnant, those are having lot of complications during pregnancy and finding very difficult for their deliveries. And because of our uh, dedicated uh, sisters present here, like Sister Jospin Chakori has done lot of service to the patients, those who come here with a lot of complications. Later, Dr. Sister Rosely has taken up this institution and double to that she has done her services, given her commitment to this patient, those who are coming to this hospital. And later, we have made this hospital as a JMJ hospital and uh, these 15 beds into 80 beds and started with uh, other facilities also like a medical, pediatrics and surgery. And lately, in 2021, we have made this 80-bedded as a 100-bedded JMJ hospital with the multi-specialties, having a modular OTs, ICUs, 
and dialysis and also we have got now all the specialties like neuro, nephro, ENT, aphtha and many services. In spite of all these uh, developments still we have kept up our aim for what purpose we have started this hospital in the beginning. So the cost of our charges are very low where patients can afford and come to our hospital. In an attempt to provide comprehensive, wholesome care, the pastor care department meets the spiritual needs of all who step into the premises of the hospital. Pastor care department is very much part of the healing mission of the Philomena's Hospital. We offer pastoral support to the people of all faith and culture. We also administer the sacraments to the Catholics. St. Camillus during his time considered the plague and epidemic as a time of charity. He would say as a festival of charity where he exercised the charity with the devotion. Following his footsteps, we visited the sick during the time of COVID. We gave them the words of comfort and encouragement. We offered our spiritual support and administered the sacraments to the Catholics and we also supported them with our healing presence. The pastoral care department continues to offer the spiritual and pastoral support to the family members and also to our brothers and sisters who are sick. Mary Glory was an Australian trained doctor who spent 37 years in India setting up healthcare institutions. She was the first Catholic nun sister in law to practice medicine. She treated hundreds of thousands of patients the majority of whom were women from disadvantaged backgrounds. As a midwife, a nurse trainer, she helped develop the skills of local women. She also started the Catholic Health Association of India. Yes, sir.